Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Sketch Sunday. And it is April, so we are back to doing our regular features. And today's sketch, which you can see up in the corner here, was chosen by Nicole from Because um, We Love to Scrap uh, here on YouTube. And I think now, even with my glasses, my friends, I'm actually having a lot of trouble reading who created the sketch. It looks like Didel Quinn. That's what it looks like to me. It's up there. I'm going to see. I'm going to check with Nicole and, and our Sketch Sunday crew to see if somebody can read it better than me. And I will definitely put it down in the description box below. But it is a lovely sketch. It's a nice central design, round photo, which I don't do very often. Some fun florals, florals which goes along with our How to Kill a Kit with Style theme this month, which is florals. And I'm embracing that theme on this layout with my embellishments, which you'll see in a minute. So... To begin with here, I just framed my whipped cream cardstock, cut it down to 11 and a half by 11 and a half, and then I did some packaging technique. I really wanted to have a backdrop, and I've been watching a lot of Sarah, Sarah Davies' uh, videos lately, of course, because she did the entire uh, 30 days of sketches. Um, and she always gets some gorgeous mixed media on her backgrounds, and I'm just, just loving it. This sketch actually would be really, Sarah, this is right up, this is your style for sure, and you're going to see in a moment another Sarah influence here. But I did my packaging technique with a Colorings and a Vibes from Shimmers, Mandarin Mai Tai for sort of the goldenish yellow, and Mango Tango for the peachy orangey one. And then I did some splattering just in the Mango Tango. So I got that done. And then, now this is the photo. This is the photo that I'm going to use. And it's a, just a, a lovely morning sunrise. And I'm quite lucky. It Well... At this time of year, and as we're getting further into the year, I generally can listen to the news, sit in bed, and watch the sunrise. In in winter, no, of course, I'm, I'm out of the house before the sun even rises, and I'm a very, very early riser. I'm, I'm awake by 4.45, 5 in the morning, so as we get to this time of the year, I, I love it when I can just... I tend to listen to the news uh, on the radio from about 5 to 6 in the morning. And that's sort of my fill of news for the day. Then I get up, start my day, and off we go. And that's sort of the story that I want to tell with this photo. And, and I love that quiet moment in the mornings where I can wake up slowly and then get my day going. So my photo here is circular and then I use one of my dies which is sort of like a scallop uh, circle and I put the photo on that so that sort of gives a little bit of a floral type uh, feel or mood and feel as well. But so because I have this photo and there were these gorgeous colors in it but there's quite um, a bit of dark as well. I wanted to get a little bit of black on here, but not too much. And this is a technique that I saw Sarah use very recently. And I loved it. Just a little bit of black stamping down the middle. So I sort of got this stitching kind of stamp. It's a 49 in market, Captured Adventures. I have two. I have another one in this series and some memento tuxedo black ink and I just stamped twice down the middle here to give that little bit of black pop. My photo, um, now in the sketch the photo is 
a little bit higher, but I think I'm going to put it a little bit more in the middle because I want to get some embellishing in both areas, top and bottom. Oh, Chopin's, Chopin's hair is with us. So I'm going to put the photo here. So let me do that now. And I'm going to leave it flat to the page. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm going to do a lot of uh, foam dots on this, but we'll see. So let me just get this sort of right down here in the middle. Now, if you look at the sketch, there's some florals and buttons. And so I went into my lovely button bowl, which I just don't use enough. And I grabbed some buttons. And then I also went in, you know, when uh, we did the let's get organized with you, I was doing the page kits, but then as I was going through my Jen Hatfield and Paige Evans, I put together this sort of record sleeve with um, 12 by 12s that I wanted to fussy cut. And that is exactly what I did here. I went in at, at well, not those. I went in and I fussy cut a bunch of florals from, let's see, can I show you the page? Because I did pop it back in here. Oh, well, it, it's, it's in here. Anyway, so I, I did fussy cut a lot of florals. So let me get rid of a few of these things so that we have a little bit more worm to worm room to work and I'll be right back okay there we go we have a little bit more room so uh, these two uh, are from this die cut box so remember when I was doing the the um, Jen Hadfield I put all of the die cuts from the various collections that I had uh, except maybe for Stardust I put them in this um, four by six box so I just went in there and I took these two uh, die cuts out. And then I took this heart that's got flowers on it. We'll have to see, I'm not sure. And then from the sheet, so I guess that's probably why I can't show you because I pretty much fussy cut the whole thing. I fussy cut a lot of florals that I'm going to get in here and some smaller ones here um, that I fussy cut. This I fussy cut out of, uh, I think, a die cut as it was. Some more of this. And then, as I mentioned, I went in and I got some buttons in the colors that match. And this one I fussy cut from a 12 by 12 sheet that had the 2 by 2 squares on it. So, this is where I am going with that. And as I said, this... This heart, we'll see. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to leave it there and we'll see what happens. So let me get all of this back up here. And I'm thinking I want to start with some, like something like this here, maybe. And then this up here. I do kind of like that. Because now what I'm thinking is these... Two. I have two that are sort of larger, and I want to tuck them. Let's see. I think I want to bring this here. Then do I want this up here? And maybe this sort of there. Because I do want to bring these larger pieces. I want maybe that. Would that be better? Bigger one here? Maybe. No, I kind of like this one over here because I want yeah, this coming up. But I think, there you go. I think I need to bring this over a little bit. There we go. And this sort of there. And then I want to bring this one so that I have a little bit of a diagonal. I, it, that's sort of a little bit different maybe than in the sketch. 
Oh, there you go. I think I want something like that. And maybe I want to put this one. I'm going to put this on top. Not right, maybe on top here. Yeah, there you go. I think I might like that. There we go. And then let's see. Pop. Maybe pop this under here. Hmm. That, like that. I'm kind of liking that. I am. So you know what? I think I should sort of put this down before I change my mind or I stop fussing too much. There we go. And there's Chopin saying hello. Hello. There we go. Let's bring that in there. There we go. And then now am I going to pop this up on foam? I think I will. So let me go get my foam. Hang on. Okay. So I just went to get my foam. So let me just pop this up. I do think I want to have this popped up. Top of that. There we go. So it's April, and my friends, well, I'm pre recording this sort of the week before. I guess it's maybe, is it Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. It's still cold. Darn it. All right, so something like that. There we go. Okay, so I like that there. Then I definitely... Let me bring this in a little bit. I'm still not sure over here. Whoopee. Let me go get that. Let me bring this for sure. I want this down here. go I'm going to put that under here there we go and bring this I think I want this maybe there. Hello, little fella. Hi. There we go. And then, do I want to, let's see, pop this up on a small bit of foam. There we go. Have that. There you go. Chopin is clamoring for pop that there. Bring this down here. Let me, I think I'm going to need to put a, just a touch of liquid glue here. Yeah, just a tiny little bit. Sort of bring that along here. There we go. Okay, so I have that down. Now, let me see. I still have... Put this here. Now, you see, I'm kind of looking for... Let's see, could I put this... Maybe there? Yeah, I sort of like that, and it's coming out on that side. 
There we go. So put that there. Now you see, before I keep going, I just want to have a look at these puffy because there is a floral here, I think. Would I want to get that on there? Would it give a little bit more contrast? And it would, but now is it too, is it too big? It is sort of, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit too big. It would have been, just needed a little bit smaller. It is a little too big. Now, let's see, it, would there be anything smaller on here? Oh, no, but you see, that's the same color. And there's no florals in that one, so no darn because there are a couple here but they're in the same absolute same color tones all right so we're gonna get our our colors from there so I think all right so I'm not gonna put any more florals for the time being I think we're gonna start looking at putting some of these lovely buttons down and then maybe uh maybe a butterfly maybe a cute look maybe, like, see that would be a nice sort of contrast as with this yeah i like those butterflies okay so let's put those butterflies before we even you know so that we don't go faffing away so let's even get those down you get that right there there we go and then we will get a small, tiny one here Should be, yeah it'll get on there anyway and another one here Okay, let's get that. That way. Okay, there we go. So I think that's good. And now I think my title, I just want something like New Day with these lovely uh foam so unless I put new day there I'm not sure yeah I definitely okay because I'm gonna have to do it all in capital letters because I'm, I don't have you know what I think I'm gonna put it I think I'm going to put it down here yeah let's Let's get that down. So, new day. Oh, do I want it there? You know what? I want it there and I can do a little bit of journaling here. So, new. There, there we go. So we'll get that down here. Just there. Oh, a little bit wonky. But, uh, there you go. I, I don't sort of worry about that too, too much unless it's really a layout that requires it. But and then I'm going to bring this in here. There we go. A little straighter. New day. And I can do a little bit of journaling down here in black as well, which will then sort of give enough black, but not too much. I was thinking that I might want to try and do some black splatters. I don't really have any mist, but I do have some lovely India ink, which I haven't used forever and ever. But I, I don't think I want that much black on paper. So I think New Day... The black here, um, the frame, 
that lovely stamping and then a little bit of journaling here would be just perfect. And now we are just going to put a few of these buttons. Let me start with the floral ones because I think they are cute. Put that there. Put one here. There, maybe. No, not there. Yeah, let me bring it in there. Bring this closer and this in there. Okay, so I'm going to need to do a little bit of liquid glue here as well. There we go. And I'm not fussed about my buttonholes. Now, I, I did bring a few little enamel dots over, thinking I might want to put those where the buttonholes are but I, I you know I'm not fussed that it's not the same thing as a tag for me I don't really mind if uh, I have naked buttonholes um, and I mean they are they are in the sketch anyway so I think I'm just going to leave that let me pop this one down here And I'm just glad that I'm getting some buttons on a page because I never think to go in. I did do quite a destashing of my buttons. Um, I think was it last year when I did that big spring clean? And I did an awful lot. I did, you know, destash and pass on an awful lot of buttons. But I kept that lovely sort of candy bowl that I showed you. Now, do I want this? Yeah, I like that will go there so I'm just glad to get some buttons on here so there we go this is a fun sketch I mean let me see am I doing that right yeah there we go we get one of those there oh no that's too don't want it to be that. Hmm. All right. Well, let's just sort of move it up. Let's see. Can I move that down? Yeah, I can. Yeah, because now I've sort of put it there. So I guess we're going to have to leave it. Let me get this orangey one. There. And another one over here and we'll put another one there okay so I think that's good and I might just want one more up here there we go there and do I need another one down here or here I'm not sure I don't not sure we need another one one two three four one two three four five six seven so I have so I guess I should put one more here maybe bring it down how about there Finish that off. Yeah, I'll tuck it even under a little bit. The, there we go. Because I just have the one. I don't want to put that back in my bowl anyway. So there. So let's just pop it there. Well, there you go, my friends. I think I think I am done with this. And this is fun. I like this. I'm glad I got some buttons on there. Nicole, thank you for choosing such a fun, fun sketch. Everybody who is playing along this week, either here on YouTube or over on Instagram will be linked down below, of course, and join us again next week for another Sketch Sunday. And as I said, I can't correctly read that name, so I'll find out who it is, and I'll make sure I put it down in the description box below. So I will see you back here very, very soon, my friends. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.